not a Tervagon. Um, this is a work in progress conversion to a Tervagon. Um, I would show you a real Tervagon, but GW doesn't make one. Um, the concept art for it is even hard to see, and there's only like one picture. So, um, you guys have, may have seen this on my channel already. Um, I've modeled extra sets of ribs onto this Carnifex body, added carapace, did some conversion for this mouthpiece here. I made spine banks on its second piece of carapace and added another piece on front. Um, made a third set of spires here and leaned it way forward instead of up and put its tail out straight and adding on a larger tail I converted from a trigon or mollock tail or something. So lots of work going into this. Um, Turbogons are really good. Um, in case you don't know, uh, you should. That's all I gotta say. You should know. Um, Turbogons are, like some of the new monsters creatures, um, strength and toughness 6 and 6 wounds. Um, which is which is crazy. If you ask me, it's just crazy. Um, 3 plus save. Um, comes with Stinger Salvo, um, which is some sort of shooting thing, I think, that you can replace with cluster spines for free. Again, it's shooting, so I don't, don't even bother with it. Um, it's a synapse creature, and it has some rule where if it dies, gaunts around it die. Um, that's not usually a problem, because they don't die too terribly often, but if it does get really down in the wounds, try to clear some of the gaunts out of the way. Um, and most important things to know with this thing. Um, one, first and foremost, it spawns gaunts. Um, every turn before it moves, you can roll 3d6 and spawn that many termagants. Just out of nowhere, you just get to spawn termagants. Not only do you get to just spawn 3d6 termagants, you only have to put them within 6 inches of the, of the thing. And then the termagants and the termagon can then move and shoot as normal and assault or whatever the crap they want. It's crazy. Um, the one thing is, if you roll doubles, if there's any two of the same number in those three dice, then it, it, is, it becomes sterile. It can no longer produce gaunts, um, which is fine. I mean, they were free gaunts anyway. It's uh, 160 points, so it's not super cheap, but um, for what it does, it's pretty good. I've, I've seen some games where they pretty much paid for themselves in gaunts. Um, Uh, options for it, you can take a set of Siding Talons for 5 points, um, or Crushing Claws for 25 points. That's pretty much the only options you got as far as weapons go. Um, crushing Claws, again, they're pretty good, but for such a difference in points, um, it's not even the, something you're really going to be charging into combat most of the time. It's more of a support unit. Um, I wouldn't bother with the Claws. Um, it can take the same basic things, adrenal glands, toxin sacs, toxin regen, all that kind of stuff. Um, with this particular unit, I honestly wouldn't really bother with any of them unless you're, you plan on making it a main assaulting unit, then maybe um, adrenal glands to go before power fist. And um, it has two, two other options. Um, you can take, it already has one psychic power, Dominion, which um, allows you to, for a turn, extend its synapse to 18 inches, um, which can be really useful sometimes, but most of the time, if you're having to do that, then you screwed up somewhere. Um, if you're having to boost your synapse to stop some game-changing event from happening, then you, you already screwed up. Um, I mean, you get it for free, but um, I would definitely do my best to make it so you don't ever have to use that, because you'd be wasting some really good opportunities for other powers. Um, it's also got Catalyst and Onslaught. You can buy Catalyst and Onslaught, 15 points a pop. Um, the most important one here is Catalyst. You get to choose a unit around you, um, pass your Psyker test on lead 10, and you'll get to go ahead and give them Feel No Pain. Crazy ridiculous. Um, give Gaunt's Feel No Pain, give Carnifex Feel No Pain, whatever you want. Um, and the other one is... Onslaught is not particularly useful. Um, it allows a unit to, 
like run and still shoot and if they have fleet then they can still assault but not really that useful because let's face it you don't want to shoot just keep running just keep running and don't shoot um really just keep running um Trevor has a pretty basic unit i mean not a whole bunch of upgrades not a whole lot you you um need to know about it i mean it's, it's pretty straight and to the point it makes gaunts and it's a good supporting unit um really all you need to know is Blah, there's Gaunts, and oh, you have Feel No Pain. So, that's pretty much the Turbogon.